Hello. If you've ever been frustrated by the time it takes for your SAP IT team to get your data out of the SAP system, you might want to pay attention for the next few minutes because I'm going to show you a great new way to do this for yourself. The solution is an app that runs on your desktop called XCS from DVW Analytics. From here we can connect to virtually any SAP system and create connections to our data in SAP which can be consumed in Power BI or any other of the Microsoft Power Platform solutions and that includes Excel of course. But for this video I'm going to focus on Power BI. We start by getting data. If we type in DVW then we can connect to our XCS console from within Power BI. You can see that once we do that any connections that we've already created are available to us or we can create a new one. That takes us to a wizard where we can pick the type of data we want, table, t-code, maybe a BW query, or data from an SAP cloud system using OData. From the system we want, pretty much any SAP system we can think of. We enter a table name. We could search for that, but as I know it, I'm just gonna apply that and pull back the metadata for the table. I can now select the fields I want in my output and I can filter on any of those fields. I can call SAP to get a list of values or simply just type in the value I'm interested in. That way I can be really selective in the data that I want, very precise. Equally, however, I can see just a sample of the data or in this case, all the data and I get a preview of that in the console. So you can see my finished goods have been filtered. I give my connection a name and save it and then it becomes available for me in Power BI directly and by clicking on it I see a preview here and I can use that data within anything I want within Power BI. One way of doing this is to use a cool function from DVW that allows you to parameterize your calls back into the console. We simply create a parameter using the standard Power BI functionality and pass that value into the function. And as you'll see, that means we can control the data that we want to pull from SAP directly from within Power BI. You can see I've created a material type parameter and added a pick list of values. Once I've set up the parameters, I can now use those to call the data from SAP. I use the bespoke DVW function, which is really just like an Excel function. But this function talks to the XCS console. I enter the name of the connection that I've just created, and I reference the parameter for my material type. I can add as many of these parameters as I wish, because it means that I can pull back the data exactly that I need in Power BI and that data can be refreshed at any time. When I run the query, I'm asked to connect to my console. I can use Windows authentication for this, and once I've done that, the data comes back. It's made a call from SAP via the console. Now within Power BI, I can add columns, so I count column for my materials, and now I can use that in the visualization window of Power BI. Once I run the query, I can see the fields that I've selected are available to me to build visualizations. So I can create a chart very easily from the SAP data. And what's more, I can parameterize that chart. So I can select, in this case, the material type from the list we added and refresh that data immediately by making that call back into SAP. Really simple, really straightforward, really fast way of getting the data that you need. And it's refreshable today, tomorrow, whenever. I hope you see the opportunity here to accelerate your processes and make your life easier. If you'd like to see more, please come to our website at dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.